Hey, my name is Howie Bell, comedian Howie Bell from Detroit, and we're here at Evergreen Regency uh, trying to do a little community service with my good brother, another comedian, D. Jones, the one who told me all about it, and uh, I'm going to let him speak, but I just wanted to say it's it's all actually an honor and a privilege to be able to even speak to you about the situations in Flint and um, to come up here and at least contribute a little bit of our time, man, to do this. So, um, hey, man, much love to Flint, much love to, to Genesee County, and um, hopefully things will get better, man. We came from Detroit. It's what it's all about, man. We brothers and sister cities. Let's make it happen, man. My boy D. Jones. Um, yeah, we seen the, the, the call for, for donations, so we just came out here, wanted to be a blessing. So we, we drove down here, loaded up the car with some water, and um, you know what I'm saying? We we here to help, so that's what it is. And we brought them kids right there. Yeah, and they gone. <laughs> they unload everybody water today. They still act like they're sleepy, but. They looking like y'all. You, you, know, you know what? Let, let, let me say this. Now, these guys didn't come from around the corner. They came all the way up from Detroit to be a part of this, to help distribute water and give out water themselves. They even brought water here. Now, you're talking about the community, community working together. This is what it looks like. This is what it looks like right here. We appreciate you guys for coming up to Detroit, oh, man, showing bro. Flint we some love. It. We appreciate you guys. Appreciate Thank you guys much. No Thank you. Thank you, my brother. Much love, brother. Hello, how y'all doing today? This is Gino Germani. I'm out here at Evergreen Regencies. We're doing support system here for water and the crisis of Flint water. We're going to have guests here, uh, Rashid Wallace and a couple other NBA players. We have a uh, wonderful uh, organization here. Um, here, What's your name, sir? And this is the Israel uh, United in Christ. You know, they're a nice organization out here. We have a lot of other organizations out here giving out water. And we would like for your support. Support your people. Support Flint. Stand out here at Evergreen Regency. I'm um, getting ready to interview this young man. He's all the way from Philadelphia, and he wants to give us. We want to give him a shout out to say thank you to him for actually taking the time out of his schedule to come and be a blessing to the people in Flint and especially to the people in Evergreen Regency because we know that they don't get no love in Evergreen Regency from the city or nowhere else. So we want to say thank you to him and, his, and, the, and the people that he brought with him. Have a word, my Man, brother. Man, definitely for sure. The name She Wallace. Um, just me, my family, friends, we came up here to just to do our part in our community. We got to stand strong and be one together, you know, and as as uh, just said, you know, we we got to we got to stand together, man, you know, all, all support one another. There's not a lot of help that comes over here. So we're here. You know, what I'm saying we didn't forget about y'all. We're here and it won't stop. You know, what I'm saying until until this water situation gets fixed, until, you know, it's, it's a lot of unnecessary crimes happening to black folks out here, then, hey, we're going to keep coming. So it ain't going to stop. So we're getting love all the way from Philly, and we just want to say thank you, sir. We really appreciate you and appreciate your family for coming. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's not right. No, that's not right at all. I just got one last question for you, because what we're doing out here today, we're all gathering for a purpose. That's we're right. gathering to help our people. We out here because we love our people. Everybody say it together. We love our people. That's why we're out here today, right? But now the final question that I want to ask you, this is a, a kind of a Band-Aid type of situation. What's the solution to the war problem? Man, the solution is definitely going to have to be those the powers to be to, to get this fixed, man. Tear this concrete up, get these pipes up. Yeah, it's going, it's going to be a, a big project, but look at all the other things that's been accomplished here in the state. Major highway project, so it shouldn't be no different. It ain't, it ain't going to be no different. All we have to do huh? is come together, and we're going to make this thing happen. We'll for another but now, anyway. I know you kind of a celebrity, and you can't really say things that other people can say because we've seen this happen in, in the, the media recently where people have been getting ostracized because of things they said. But I'm going to ask you this, and if you don't want to answer, just say no comment. What should happen to those people that are the powers that be, that have our people in this situation? Man, it's got to be brought to justice. I mean, say that one more time. It's got to be brought to justice, man, because you, you have you had elderly die, and as you just mentioned, you had children die. That's right. So, man, they, this, this can't go. Without, without being justified. That's right. That's right. Hey, we appreciate your time. For sure. Shalom. Rasheed Wallace, out here with IUIC Detroit. Shalom.